Things are heating up in the chem lab. This is our lab qualitative analysis. It's going to be our test for at the end of our unit on reactions and types of reactions. And so the kids will be given an unknown compound and they'll have to perform a series of tests to try and identify what that unknown is. Working in the lab improves my learning in chemistry because it shows us firsthand what these experiences are supposed to be like and what we're supposed to see and helps us understand chemistry better. My background was a field endorsement in chemistry to where I took a series of undergraduate level classes, organic chemistry, inorganic physical chemistry, analytical chemistry, and biochemistry, and that background gave me enough to work with for high school chemistry to open the field of chemistry to kids who may have no idea that they might be interested in it. My favorite part about the lab is probably hanging with friends and being close to them and playing with fire. What I do to help motivate kids in the lab or in chemistry in general is try and make it relatable to them. If we're talking about polyatomic ions, here are where they appear in the world around you. We'll read food labels and see where those things pop up. We can read soap labels and say, hey, sometimes if you get dry skin, well, this soap has a sulfate in it and that will typically dry out your skin. Just trying to connect chemistry to the world around the kids and make them more aware of what goes on around them is one way. My experience with lab techniques and instruments has been pretty okay so far. <laughs> La Rosa is a good teacher. We have a series of labs that we'll do at the beginning of the year that just kind of highlight general lab practices and procedures. Walk in, put your goggles on. Here's how you handle hot and cold types of glassware. Here's how you handle various types of chemicals. It is considered a hazardous chemical. Uh, here's where you dispose of it. If not, everything can be dumped down the sink. What I did for preparation for the lab experience is put on goggles because safety first. We put our hair up. We also did packets and build those out during the lab. Lab setting is usually the end result after what we talk about in lecture. Uh, we'll introduce a concept in the classroom talk about it, solve a couple of practice problems, and then we'll do a lab on it where we actually get to physically see what happens whenever we're exploring some sort of chemical phenomenon. You can find the students in the chem lab as things starts to cool down.